If you're dating somebody who spends $150 for lunch, that's on you. That's a you problem. Break up with them. Delete the number. Block all of that. So not too long ago, a story time came out on TikTok that took the nation by storm where this woman talked about her getting sent $30 for lunch. So today, this dude wrote me on Instagram and he was like, let me send you money for lunch. Yeah, I just knew I was going to open my cash up and I was going to have at least probably about $100. You get what I'm saying? That's how much I spent on my food. Yeah, I opened my cash up and this man sent me $30. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff that we could talk about in this conversation right here off the initial. However, $30 is enough for lunch. But if you dating somebody who spends $150 every time they eat, either they don't go out and eat often or they are greedy, they are selfish. That's just OD. And I was very much against this lady because when she was talking about how she goes out and eat and stuff like that, it made me believe that like, first of all, how long is your lunch break? But second of all, this is a very entitled person. But upon further review, I came to to realize that I needed to pump my brakes, get the full context, and she explained more of the story. This young man came to me in my inbox. I never asked him for a motherfucking thing. This first of all. Second of all, he came in my inbox sending me pictures of him holding up stacks of money, hundreds. I was talking about, let me spoil you. So clearly, I'm gonna feel like shit. You in my inbox popping it. What's the issue with you sending me at least a hundred dollars? for lunch. Okay, so now I totally understand. First of all, she's a travel nurse, so travel nurses make a good bit of money. But number two, if you're gonna show yourself and portray yourself to be somebody that you ultimately are not, like in real life, when the rubber needs to meet the road, then you gotta pump your brakes and not be upset, and we can't be upset when people start attacking you on the internet. Honestly, I would probably say you rightfully deserve it, because you're a liar at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure she would have been perfectly okay with taking the $30 that you would have sent, or whatever money that you would have sent, if y'all on that type of time having those types of conversations and you didn't set the parameter to be that high but i'm gonna be honest with y'all if oprah winfrey comes into my dms if meg the stallion comes into my dms if any person that i perceive that is a woman that is wealthy comes into my dm and start showing off all the money that they got flexing etc i'm gonna expect more than just 30 dollars and i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna kind of make it be known if i don't get 30 dollars that there's a problem here but so now that we have more context and everything like that this situation should be done it should be squashed but there's always some bird brain out there that is willing to take the conversation way too far and try to make it real life for them. Now, I want to be very clear because I don't want too many parts of this conversation to be like switched up or manipulated or whatever the case may be. We're specifically talking about lunch. Typical lunch breaks are 30 minutes or an hour. So there's not going to be a lot of time to sit down, get a bunch of drinks, get a bunch of appetizers, get an entree, get dessert, all this other stuff like that. And we're talking about an off day. That's a different conversation. But generally speaking, that's what a lunch break is. Second of all, I think if you're soliciting money, then you shouldn't be ungrateful at all. Whatever somebody gives is out the generosity of their heart. But if somebody is forthcoming with money and that's what they lead with, then you have room to give some criticism about the gift that you were given. Should women be grateful for whatever a man sends to her cash app? Absolutely not. I'm gonna say yes. So it was lunch, mm -hmm. $30. Are you gonna be grateful? $30 to like, so he knows I'm going to lunch. He knows you're he going knows to lunch. He knows my vibe. He knows how I like to move. And he only sent $30. No, he doesn't know any of these things. So you got to be grateful in the sense of thank you, baby. Like, don't make it confrontational. Oh, you should have gave me and yeah, yeah, you're not doing yeah. that. Yes. But it's very much so thank you, baby. I appreciate you. But now I have to move in a way where he knows what I like and yeah. what I expect and what I do for myself. I think what she gives us pretty fair criticism, like if you're a woman of that caliber, everything isn't going to necessarily be up to your standards. And as strangers talking to each other, you kind of need to let it be known how I roll so nobody feels, you know, shy or embarrassed or kind of awkward in some of these situations. And see, this is where part of my problem lies in the first half. So first you talk about how women are humbled on the internet. People have an issue with humbling women on the internet, which can be a fine claim to make. But then you take the time out of your way to throw the stone back and you humble a man in that situation. If that's all he could give, why do you have to then throw it back in his face and try to make him feel less than or smaller than in these situations? If you're a woman of a higher caliber and $30 doesn't necessarily move the needle for you, then you would have an honor honest and legitimate conversation with that person. I may be doing a false equivalency here with this, but if I, at my current stage, meet somebody without a car or without a job, and I say that, hey, that's not what I'm trying to do in my life, there's a way that I can have a conversation with them and let them down in a more nicer or polite way. This is this big woman trying to get some sort of get back in the situation by saying, oh, it's okay, some other man's got it. First of all, you look fast, you look like you sell yourself to a bunch of people, and it honestly just hurts everybody in the situation, because ain't nobody really taking you out 
like that if we're being clear. If I'm talking yeah. to him and he says, oh, you need something for lunch? I'm going to tell him, it's okay. Somebody already sent me $100. Ooh. So he know. I'm I'm gonna, say, yeah. God. You got to. You got to? Throwing a fit and oh my God right. and, and going on the internet. This nigga did this, that, and the third. It's better to just show him what, what real what, men what, are doing. Yeah. Right. Or it's better to just say, hey, can we have an honest conversation? If you seek to pursue me, this is where I am. If that's not where you are, then we don't have to continue. It's probably better to do it that way. If we're being completely honest, we've all eaten lunch for $30. Yes. Let's start 100%. There. Wait, cute little yeah. cafe spot, baby. Yeah. 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 I'm going to snap us and get something popping, but... Here you are, part two of admitting that you're not that caliber of woman, that you can understand what $30 is and can do for you. You know, so we're not saying that we're ungrateful. Right. Food is food on the table. However, you know what the Correct. standard is. I'm going to still take a picture of that bill and I'm going to send it to him. Then you paid it. By yourself. All you handle oh, no, is a tip. No. That's what I'm you need wait. to know. You I'm going to wait for that Apple Pay, baby. I'm, I'm... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're telling me that you have these stances about humbling this man, about showing him up, about saying all these things, and you're not even that caliber of woman? You're not even the caliber of woman to go on a $150 lunch session. So why do you feel like $30 is not enough? Now I'm really looking at y'all, and these are the mall boutique clothes that y'all have on. Y'all keep tags on y'all clothes and return stuff. So who are you to be saying that $30 is not good enough for your lunch. 50 on herself. Why would you go to her and say, oh, well, a man, he took her to Applebee's. He can't afford uh, uh, where she wants to go. So she should just be grateful for that. You no, can't she afford shouldn't. That? I personally <laughs> don't make $100,000. Yeah, no, not I'm yet. not saying not that. The median salary for an African-American woman in this country is $36,000. If these women are really going out here spending $150 on lunch, if they're spending all this money on their hair and all this money on their lashes, they're doing a couple of different things. One, they're in massive amounts of credit card debt, which a lot of Americans are. Two, they're overeating and they're overspending. Or three, they are relying on a man or somebody else to foot the bill for not only just that lunch session but their lifestyle where they have room to say that hey this isn't enough or really be critical about what somebody sends them is non-existent and it doesn't compute in my mind how somebody can get some of this rhetoric off now these are the same people who push up in their 30s and stuff like that late 20s and wonder why they're single but it's because they have this internet mentality if your reality states that you can't afford this why do you think you even have room in these conversations there should be more of a general message. And I heard it earlier that, hey, if there's a woman out there that you can't afford, don't go after her. I do agree that there is this epidemic of men who are out there who are looking at the IG baddies and the BBL bandits as their drug dealers for women. You know, that is their prize just to ultimately flex to their friends or anybody else looking at them that they have this type of woman. And it makes them do extreme things that they probably couldn't afford or couldn't handle to, to maintain them. However, you don't fit in that category. If you're just getting your shit off just a podcast, that maybe get your shit off just a podcast, but I would really beg them to look at their situation and give more realistic expectations and explanations as to what's going on. Now, right, I'm going to accept it. <coughs> I'm gonna accept the 30. 30 is probably yeah. kind of like my threshold. Yeah. Cause if you send me, if my meal is $17.99 and you send me $17.99, I'm gonna send that back. I'm yes. sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm not being I'm, I'm just not gonna be grateful and thankful for anything. Like you're, you're gonna don't I'm play gonna with me. hurt the message. Because if you go to Starbucks, it's $24. I don't know what happens to a day and age where we just can't have honest communication about what the situation actually is. If the meal is more, then have that conversation with that person instead of trying to one up and embarrass them. But it seems like in their day-to-day day lives. They go to Starbucks. They eat a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. They do small timey stuff that that $30 could suit for. But if they do require more than have that conversation instead of trying to get some sort of embarrassment off on some men. Entitled behavior. I have no room. Let me know what you guys think down below because those meat and potatoes, they weren't cooking. They weren't hitting right there.